We know sunscreen is important, and it's also important to reapply sunscreen every couple of hours, especially if you're outside. But what if you wear makeup? It can be really challenging to reapply sunscreen over makeup, and that's why a lot of people will turn to powdered sunscreens. But are powdered sunscreens a reliable way to protect you from the sun? Let's discuss. I'm Dr. Sam Ellis, and I'm a board-certified dermatologist. I'm here to help you understand your skin and find skincare products that work for you. So what are powdered sunscreens? Well, they typically come in tubes that look like this. And what you'll notice is there is a vessel at the bottom of the tube that contains the sunscreen powder. And then on the top, ooh, that was satisfying, there's a brush. And what should happen is the sunscreen powder should flow from the base of the tube up through the bristles and then get distributed onto the face as you apply. Powdered sunscreens use the inorganic UV filters, so zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, and they work very similarly to a liquid sunscreen. Essentially, you are applying an even coat over the surface of the skin, and the goal is that those UV filtering molecules are absorbing UV energy before it reaches your skin and converting that energy into heat. And then titanium and zinc will also reflect a little bit of that UV light, but to a much lesser extent. One thing that's important to keep in mind though is for sunscreen to be effective, one, you need an even coat, so an even layer over the top of the skin. And two, you actually need to apply enough sunscreen. And oftentimes when I see people applying their powdered sunscreens, it looks a lot like this. So are you getting enough powder to really give you any protection? So Color Science, which is the skincare company that arguably makes the most popular powdered sunscreen on the market, it's the one I have right here. They actually tested this to see, are people putting enough on? And people reported putting on their sunscreen for an average of 60 seconds. Now, that seems generous. I don't think I've ever seen someone put their powdered sunscreen on for a full 60 seconds, but whatever, that was the conclusion. And what they found is that if you truly apply it for 60 seconds, you should be getting adequate coverage. But just keep in mind, if you're someone who's applying your powdered sunscreen for five or 10 seconds, you're probably not getting the SPF that you need to make this powder truly effective for you. Which brings me to probably the most important point of this entire video, if you take nothing else away from this, take this, which is that powdered sunscreen absolutely cannot be your primary form of sun protection or sunscreen that you use. When we look at the data for powdered sunscreens versus what we have for liquid or cream sunscreens, the data for liquid sunscreens just blows powdered sunscreens out of the water. We have so much more evidence that they are effective, that they work consistently. So for me, powdered sunscreens are exclusively there to reapply. And truly, my preference for sunscreen reapplication is to use a liquid sunscreen, especially if you're out in the sun, like at the beach or hiking, wear a cream or a liquid sunscreen. However, if there was no way that you would even consider putting liquid sunscreen over what you currently have going on, so say you have a full face of makeup or you're out shopping and you're kind of bopping between store to store and you're outside once in a while and you are not going to reapply sunscreen otherwise, that is where powdered sunscreen comes in. It is like your rescue, your, I wasn't gonna reapply sunscreen, but because I have this, I'm going to. That's how I use this. If you are going to use powdered sunscreen as a method of reapplication, you wanna make sure you're doing it properly. So these are my tips. One, you wanna make sure your brush is primed. So for this brand in particular, you wanna tap pretty hard to get that powder flowing from the cartridge into the bristles. And then you should be able to flick and see a little plume of powder come off the top. That's how you know your brush is accurately primed. And then what I like to do is divide my face into quadrants. So the forehead, each cheek, and then kind of the nose and mouth area and apply for 15 seconds to each quadrant. That way I'm ensuring that I'm getting a full 60 second application and getting the true SPF that the product claims that it has. So I just use tiny little circles like this and I'll just count to 15 or I'll put a phone timer on, you know, cause I'm neurotic like that. The other thing is if you wanna get into like the crooks of the nose or closer up to the eyes, you can actually slide this up a little bit to get a denser bristle, but also just a finer point. And that can help you go up closer to your eyes, around the nose, chin crease, all that fun stuff. The instructions on how to prime your brush will vary between you know brands. So for example, this is Brush on Block. This is another powdered sunscreen that I really like. 
This is an interesting um, feature, which is you can actually close and then open the base. I think that is to decrease the risk of like the powder flowing out when it shouldn't be. And then for them, they recommend more of like a flick motion <laughs> to get it going. And then you'll see the powder come to the center of the bristles. So powdered sunscreens can really vary just based on the technology in terms of what are the mechanics of the brush, what are the density and the softness of the bristles. So some people like a denser, softer brush, which I think this one really is. Compare that to the color science, which is sort of a fluffier, less dense brush, but I like them both. But this one's SPF 50 and this one's SPF. 30. But that's just something to keep in mind is you should read the instructions for the specific powdered sunscreen that you purchase. On a similar note, companies will often give instructions for how they want you to clean your SPF powder brush. And often what they'll recommend is that you hold the brush upright like this, take some type of cleansing towelette that is spritzed in makeup remover or makeup remover wipe, or some companies even sell specific brush cleansing tools. And you just massage over the top in little circular motions in order to remove any additional kind of brush residue. To summarize, powdered sunscreens have limited data for their efficacy. However, when applied properly, so a very generous application, at least for a minute, you can get some good SPF coverage. The other thing is that you should never be using these as your primary form of sunscreen. They are exclusively for reapplication when you wouldn't otherwise reapply with a cream or liquid sunscreen. And lastly, wash your makeup brush. So I'm curious, have you tried any powdered sunscreens? Tell me your favorites in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.